take you through a full day of what I feed my kids just to give you some ideas I know we all go through ruts as moms like what do we feed these kids they get tired of our cooking we get tired of cooking for them but the models are kind of like the standards that I use these days is I want it to be mostly homemade as much as possible as little processed foods as possible but it still happens like we are still a normal family my kids will still ask for junky snacks I buy them on occasion I just try to not get in the habit of buying things so I'm not gonna have on my grocery list like chicken nuggets and buying chips and stuff like that I'll buy things from time to time as like treats um, but for the most part like if I'm cooking for my kids they're gonna eat homemade they're gonna eat like whole foods as much as possible so this is a typical day of what I feed them but mamas I know it is so hard especially if your kids are older and they already have bad eating habits but it's never too late to turn over a new leaf and to just be more intentional about what you're feeding them I know for me I fell into a lazy rut giving my kids easy mac ramen like more like more than usual and last summer i just kind of had this change of heart where i'm like i need to be feeding my kids like just real whole foods and i just made an effort to be in the kitchen more and it takes the same amount of time like in today i'm going to show you i made mashed potatoes i mean it literally took me i peeled them made enough just for the kids like it was so easy to make and so yeah this is just maybe a little push to like try a little harder be more intentional our kids nutrition is worth it all right, tell me what you think. So I'm starting out their breakfast with some French toast. This is an easy way to get them some protein, some healthy fats all in one place, and it tastes delicious. I just put some cinnamon, some vanilla, raw milk, and maple syrup for sweetness. Then I mix it all around, and I get that bread, the sourdough bread that I buy from Whole Foods. I usually buy two loaves every Monday, and I just put a few pieces in and soak it into the mixture itself. Keep you in my heart, and my heart is where you are. I still think of you. I want you coming back. Call me when you want. Maybe I can take it on my heart. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Give me your love. Yeah, yeah. Call me when you want. Maybe I can take it on my heart. Oh, yeah. And then I like to top them off with fresh fruit. We usually have strawberries and bananas at the house and then we smother it with organic maple syrup. Now for lunch, this may seem like a lot of steps, but I really wanted to make my kids favorite. So I did some burgers with some fresh mashed potatoes. Luke has been requesting mashed potatoes a lot and I really haven't been cooking them. So I really wanted to give them a nice treat. Lately, I've just been doing bigger lunches and kind of a more simple dinner, which it's kind of what I did today. But once I cut up the potatoes, I just get them in the water to boil. The smaller you cut them, the better, the quicker they will cook. And then I'm gonna get some bacon on. I've been loving this. I buy it at Whole Foods. It's uncured, sugar-free bacon. I get a few slices of that going in the pan. Check on my mashed potatoes. Then I got the burgers going. I know it looks like a lot, but all of these things cook relatively fast. The mashed potatoes didn't even take that long. While I was cooking everything else, I was able to boil them, strain them, and then prepare the recipe. I just put a little half and half, some salt, and the secret ingredient, sour cream. This is what makes it really delicious. I just mix it all in and then I mash it. You can keep tasting it, see if you put enough salt. It turns out so delicious. I add a little butter at the end for flavor, and it's so good. My kids devoured this. Some fresh mashed potatoes, two small burger patties with cheese, bacon, and a side of blueberries to make it complete. What a feast. I love feeding my kids like this. And then for snack, my son usually asks me for a fruit smoothie. I put strawberries, mango, banana, Greek yogurt for protein, and a raw egg yolk. Shh, don't tell him. And then for dinner, I picked up some rotisserie chicken from Costco, served it with some leftover mashed potatoes, and some fresh raspberries on the side. And lastly, I do want to say that I will buy things like Cheez-Its, um, cereals my husband's the one that brings these into the home he likes to have cereals so the kids will have these on occasion 
But for the most part, we just try to give them fruit for snacks, maybe cheeses. I'll do like cheese and crackers. I just try not to get into the habit of bringing junky foods into the house, but I will do these on occasion. But once, if my kids are fully fed, all of their meals, they really don't snack on this stuff. Thanks for watching. Let me know what your favorite meal was and what you typically feed your kids. Give your go-to staples what you typically feed them. I'm out here, Liam's kicking the ball, getting some soccer in. The sun is setting. It's so beautiful. I'll see you guys. Bye-bye.